everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 4 of Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex. So in this episode, we'll be doing the last level here, H2O-No, before we take on the boss of World 2. They're gonna have to hang you out to dry when I get through with you! Okay then, that's nice of you. Also, the sound effect for when you're in the loading screen sounds ridiculous. Like, it just sounds super weird and oh my god we're underwater again and it's doing the weird screen issues i have it's only with the water levels i hate water levels man there's 165 boxes too like who designed this like honest to god who designed these levels man at least that mine was super visible unlike most of the time where they're not very visible I've only gotten 13 boxes. Like, where are all the boxes, man? Wow, that's like our first box in, what, a year? There we go. It's a lionfish down here. Lionfish. Oh yeah, if you hit a wumpa fruit, it counts as impact, which is really weird. I, I kind of don't get why it does that, but... It does, and oh my god, I hate these levels, man. They're just... They're so bad. Like, I don't know what's going on with the uh, interlacing when it comes to these levels. If you guys have a fix for it, let me know, because... Let's be real, this is annoying the living daylights out of me. Like, something fierce, man. They're just bad. Also, why are there two water levels in the same world? Like, like literally, this is the second water level within the same world. Oh, looks like we actually get to leave the water. And we only have 37 boxes. At least now things look normal again. Oh, I thought this was the part where, like, um, there was electric eels, but I think that's only in Crash 2. Also, I don't know how I missed that enemy. Don't, don't, don't add me. Like, I, I don't know. It's really weird. Oh god, this point. Yeah. I forgot, I don't have double jump. I don't know why I did. Like, why I thought I had double jump, but... Oh, lordy. I hate that so much. We made it to a checkpoint, though. Thank you. Hiya. Oh god, more of it. If only... Ugh. All right, we have 70 out of 165 now. That was this level is kind of uh, terrifying in terms of uh, layout and design here, man. There we go. And we got the checkpoint again. Oh god, there's lots of nitro. Why is it when I have Aku Aku, I always miss time the jump? Oh lord, this is not going to be fun. You know, I still hate that to this day. Um, also, I jumped on that crate, and then it's just like... Why does it do that? It, like, skips forward. As if I'm holding forward when I'm not holding forward. Oh well. There we go, that time I did hold forward because I was aiming for the actual box. I hate to say it, but after those sections, there's, there should be a checkpoint, like, immediately. Just because those checkpoints are just absolutely, unforgivingly brutal. Anyways, we do have a, ch uh, a bonus game. Or bonus game. Just bonus. 43, so that's a good chunk of the remaining boxes here. Oh, uh, I see. Lots of them are going to be, um, ones that we can't 
technically get. I get it. Fun. Uh. Uh. Well, that was fun. Not, not, not really. Just, just not fun. Not at all. Not, not one percent fun. That was just stupid. I don't even know how that happened. Also, I love how you can still see, like, the enemies and stuff above you. Oh, let's casually destroy everything here. And... Yeah, yeet. Yeah, yeet. No. Yeah, yeet. Uh, what button is it? Okay, it's this button. It's L2. Oh, and that's gonna detonate them all. Oh, I see. Ooh. Yeah, and those last three are the nitro crates at the very beginning. So we're good. That's another 40 to our collection. Now let's see. Ooh, we just have a little over 30 left to go. And four of them are nitro crates, so that's good news. Also, I do not want to die to a fish. Or another fish. Or potion throwers. Like, man, where's the next checkpoint? Because I'm pretty sure bonuses don't count as checkpoints. At least not in this game. I don't know if they count in other games, but... Oh god, lots of these crates. I hate these things. Oh, you didn't need to hit them five times, which is honestly really weird. Yeah, most of these have got to be, um... Uh... Nitro, right? Oh yeah, we got them all! Also, these lasers are kind of dumb, because they don't really do anything. Anyways, there we go! Got everything here, which means I can get a drink as a reward. So I hope my- I just brushed my teeth recently, so I hope it doesn't taste gross. Okay, the taste is pretty much fine. Anyways, we gotta go do drain damage. Ah! Get over here, you little orange sponge! Cause we're gonna ring you out! Okay, that was forcefully corny. Get over here, you little orange sponge. Long pause, because we're going to ring you out. Oh yeah, this boss fight. This boss fight can be... annoying. Not because of that. That's not even remotely close to why he's annoying. That was just on me. I keep telegraphing it wrong. I keep forgetting that, like... It's a lot slower than you'd think. There we go, and we gotta keep doing this, except now he'll get a new- I jumped over that! So, the first attack, right, you jump over. The second attack, you have to duck under. And so we gotta keep doing this. Also, I don't know how we hit water. Yeah, you- and then I think the next one is like a a thing in the middle, right? That's like bubbles. And then as for this one, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, is it random? Yeah, it was just random. And there we go. Double jump. The boss took us, what, like two minutes to do? <laughs> and the only time I died was like, what? To the first attack on both the first and se yeah okay whatever that was funny and there we go we beat drain damage and we probably got another cutscene yep you are making a mockery of me in front of my minions not only have you defeated the elemental masks but you are still collecting those worthless crystals well you've gotten this far and this is as far as you're gonna get Pyro, the fire elemental, will see to that. Oh, Cortex, come on! I don't need some flaming mask to help me! I can take Crunch on by myself! Crunch, you will do as I say. You and Pyro will vanquish Crash and his annoying friends. Okay, Pyro is actually my least favorite of all the bosses because I think it's the most annoying. 
Anyways, we have uh, The Gauntlet, Tsunami, Smokey and the Bandicoot, Eskimo Roll, and Fahrenheit Frenzy. All kind of weird levels, but honestly, The Gauntlet's a fine level. It's another medieval one, so we'll go to this one. I didn't check if there was another gem here, but do we have the... Yeah, there he is. I realize my brethren have had some trouble with you, my little orange friend, but I'm not quite sure why. Huh. Is it getting hot in here? Is it safe to be wearing that fur? It looks flammable! Okay. These masks are just sometimes over the top, you know? Just, just a wee bit over the top. Man, I've been recording way too much Spyro, not enough of this. Um, there was like some weird screen shake thing going on. There's 136 boxes even in this level now. Man, I love how like the door sounds. Ah! Yeah, so the, the game I was thinking of when I thought of these levels was Rascal. Oh, wait, I have to double jump now. Oh, okay. Wait, are these telegraphable? Oh, okay, they are on the dark lines. It didn't look like they were on the dark lines from there. Also, a big lack of boxes, considering there's 130... There's another gem route, isn't there? There is 100% another gem route. I don't know if it's the death one. No, because the death one, I'm pretty sure, is... The other, uh, one, right? The one that we did? Already? I'm pretty sure. I know there's, like, think a bonus medieval level. I'm pretty sure there's a bonus medieval level. And it's, like, kind of an interesting because the gem is kind of just out in the middle of the level. I wonder if that's also in this game. I don't actually know. Or in this game, I mean in the like in the, maybe it's not in a bonus level. Is what I'm trying to get at. All right, wait, was there anything up there by chance? I don't think so. Yeah, like we only have a uh, 134. Like that's that's a pathetic game. Oh yeah, this is the bonus. Do 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 do. I do like the music here, but it does really remind me of the game Rascal. And I don't even know anybody who's actually LP'd that, if at all anybody, so that's a thing, I guess. Is this is literally the bonus? Like, really? Is Does this level even have any challenge to it? Like, the only boring part is the fact that you gotta wait five times on each of these boxes. Also, why did it... That was weird. It was... I was stuck on that one. Three, four, and five. Oh, this is... This isn't even remotely difficult. It's just... Patience. Like, like I said, we have the double jump, so a lot of that's made a lot easier now. Wow, we're not even... Okay, we're about halfway done, kind of. Also, is that the first checkpoint? That's actually quite a ways to the first checkpoint. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure... I was gonna say, we could just crawl under it or slide under it, but who needs to do that when you got those skills, you know? If you think you're gonna get hit by... Oh god, this part. No! I hit it, and then it... I thought we didn't hit it, and then, yeah. Also, those doors don't always make sounds. Like, they stopped making sounds when they open. I think it's because there's so many other sounds going on in this level that... Oh. Oh, yeah, we need, um... Some kind of platform. I don't know if that's the green gem or what. But luckily, we'll always be able to... Oh. Gandalf's back. Before I get that, I wanna... Wasn't there a Crash game with Super Slide? Was that, was, that was one of the, um, Game Boy games, right? That had the Super Slide? The Game Boy games actually weren't bad games. Were they the best games? No. Were they the worst games? Oh, heck no. They were... 
legitimately fun games, don't get me wrong. Were they good to have on your Game Boy collection? Oh, heck yeah. You know, like, they were, they were phenomenal. Especially, like, them and the Spyro games. Really good Game Boy games. Now, Game Boy actually had a lot of cool games. I just wish it was a stronger system, because some of those games that we got would have been really cool. Also, no, it might not have been a gem I was thinking. It might have just been this. Because that's exactly what I was thinking of. It's like, where that's located. Uh-oh. Why'd I do that? Now I lose my life crate. Yeah, the rest of these gotta be Nitro. Let's destroy him. And there we go, yeah. So, we'll see if this is a color gem or a clear gem. If it's a clear gem, there's a good chance that it's solely just, um... Uh, a color gem path, and that's fine by me. If it was a color gem, then it was a death platform. It won't tell me. I guess we'll go do Tsunami as our last level of this episode. Not a big fan of the Coco levels. Just because, like, they're worse than the Crash levels. Oh no. Crash has been replaced by Coco. 101 boxes, though we do have a gold Aku Aku. One, not, one thing I don't get is why her levels are always Asian inspired. Like, is there a reasoning behind, like, why they're Asian inspired? I'm not complaining. Like, I love Asian inspired everything, but it makes me question. Also, this game, by the way, has the shortest amount of invincibility frames out of any Crash Bandicoot game. Oh, and I can't even use it if I wanted to, because I had to do that. What is with this game and evil flopping fish? Magikarp is not an intimidating character. Also, she can't double jump, by the way. Not one bit. Actually, you know what? I don't even need that Aku. Because I'm all, like... See, if I got invincibility, it looks like it would screw me over in this bonus game, so... That would not have went very well. Also, there's 43 boxes in this bonus game. Holy cow. I see those crates under there, but we can't skip over them. Oh, they're just... TNT crates, that's fine by me. And a one, and a two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, that stupid, um, hang on a second here. Oh my god, it screwed up everything. Why did Discord decide to pop up in the middle of a video? Get lost, Discord. Like, back off. Like, sheesh, man. That's annoying. Who who decided to Discord message me and screw everything up? That just, like... It was going so flawlessly, and then it just lost all control because Discord got in the way. Like, what is that? Come on, man. I really wish people would, like... When you say you're gonna do something throughout the day, man, just kind of listen for, like, five seconds. I'd, I'd really appreciate it, you know? Now we don't have Aku Aku for the rest of the level. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. And I don't care about that one. Destroy it all you want, please. Thank you. Ruster Nitro. We do have 62 lives, though. That's Earth 63. I had seen 62 when I brought it up and looked down. Oh yeah, this part. Also, I don't know how to, um... Oh, it's B. You gotta push B to... Or B. Circle to, uh, speed up. That's weird. Wait. Is it circle? I don't even know what button it is. Like, I really don't even know. Also, there was no checkpoint at the, uh, scooter. Okay, I think it's just holding down circle, and then you can just jump. 
I hate that the game just doesn't tell you these controls and just expects you to know. Oh my goodness. Yeah, another thing I have to complain about with this level is the fact that the checkpoint is... Okay, I don't know why you didn't, like, do your, uh, kick maneuver like that, but okay. Man, like, who decided to put the checkpoint there? Also, the fact that they literally don't tell you the controls of certain things in Crash games is a little... I was gonna say notorious, but ridiculous. Luckily, most of these crates get destroyed by the tsunami in the background, so that's something. And I could not avoid that for whatever reason. Oh my god, there's so many of these rickshaws. Oh my lord. Oh, it's the blue gem path! Okay. And we got the clear gem, so let's take this path now. Yeah, let's do it. Woo. Now, I know for a fact this one's the hard one, because it's that weird... Remember how I mentioned the weird platforming before? Yeah, we're probably going to be here for an hour. Wait, what? What was that? The game just, like, I fell through the water, and that was it. Also, unlike Crash, I was it. Did two have the death platforms? All I know is Crash Three, 100% had the different music for the. Um... Oh, that you almost don't make. Oh God, who designed this level? Oh Lordy, Dordy. Oh my god, are you serious? Why didn't she make that jump? My lord, man, this is this is just annoying. I don't know, like, like I said, I don't know who designed these levels. And what is their fascination with nitro crates? Like, even in the other Crash games throughout the series, they weren't all just nitro pathways or, like, just extremely, oh, like, unfair platforming. Wait, what? I was like 100% ready to just end the episode there and then I run into a fish. I don't know why I didn't fall in the water there, but whatever. Even if they give us Aku Aku, it's not going to help us because Aku Aku doesn't help us from drowning, which is certainly a thing. Oh my lordy dordy. Oh my god. Oh thank god I killed them. The the low hanging ceiling is what like gets you in this part. How's I supposed to know that I overshot that you know? There is a difference between being fairly difficult, like, being fair and difficult, and then being unfair and difficult. This is unfair and difficult. There's just nothing you can do about some of these things. Huh. Well, at least we're making it to this point, like, easier than most people do. It's funny how it's more beside you than it really is. Like, than it looks. It looks like it's forward more than it is, than it is just left of you. It's not really just left of you, it's, it's forward of you, too. Er left it's just completely left it's not forward at all it's just left beside you
Wait, what was that? Did you see that? I didn't jump until I was already in the water, and then I was fine in the water. I'm confused. Also, actually, we wouldn't have been able to make it when we destroyed the nitro crate. I forgot about that. Because if you destroy the nitro crate, then um, you can't hop the platforms and you would have been screwed. So, technically us dying at the very beginning of this had technically helped us, even though it's not helping us beat it anymore, because we keep dying. If I don't beat it on this run, I think I'm just going to end the episode here and then do it off screen. That way, um... Uh... We don't have to sit through 10 years of this. Okay, I'm just going to do it off screen, guys. I'll see you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you guys next time. Join the Discord, too. Just When I say I'm recording, just, just be careful.